This beautiful book, Moraband, is published by the Zorn Museum in Sweden. It contains patterns for the lovely woven bands from the area. But all of the patterns have three background threads in between each pattern thread and are woven on a special loom. This loom has coloured string heddles used to pick up or pull down the correct pattern threads. I have devised a method for weaving these bands on a rigid heddle and an inkle loom. Here is the rigid heddle threaded with 13 uh, yellow pattern threads. The background and the border threads are black. The yellow pattern threads are threaded through the long slots and the three background threads are threaded through a whole slot and hole in between each pattern thread. If I lower the heddle, the pattern threads all appear on the top layer with one black, black background thread in between them. When I raise the heddle, all of the pattern threads are on the lower level with a single black background thread in between them. The pattern I'm going to weave is from Lexand, which uses this threading. This is the pattern draft for the band, which I transferred onto a larger chart for weaving. I'm now going to show you how to weave from this chart, starting at this pick here. I only need the coloured squares to appear on the surface, and for here it's the the coloured thread number 4 and coloured thread number 10. I need to take all of the other pattern threads and push them down to the lower level. On the next pick, when I raise the heddle, all of the pattern threads are on the bottom layer and I need to select pattern threads 3, 4 and 5 and 9, 10 and 11 to appear on the surface. On the first pick I lower the heddle and I have to get rid of all the pattern threads except numbers 4 and 10. I take the shuttle and with the tip I can choose all of the pattern threads I don't want. So the first three I don't want, I need the, need the next one. The next five I don't want, I want the next one and get rid of the final three. Take the shuttle down to the fell of the band and adjust finish. Now for the next pick I raise the heddle and this time all of the pattern threads are on the bottom layer. Now I need pattern threads numbers 3, 4 and 5 and 9, 10 and 11. So I have to go miss 2, pick 3, miss 3, pick 3 and miss 2. Take the shuttle to the fell of the band and I can check that I have selected the correct pattern threads. I will now weave picks 3 and 4. On pick 3 I lower the heddle, all the pattern threads are on the surface and I need to pick up 2, 3, 4 and 10, 11 and 12. So what I don't want is 13. I need the next three. I have to get rid of the five in the middle. I need those three and not the last one. Now for pick four, I have to raise the heddle. This time all of the pattern threads are on the bottom layer and I need to pick up one, two, three, the 7, the centre pattern thread, and um, 11, 12 and 13. So I need to pick up 1, 2 and 3, the centre one, and then 11, 12 and 13. So I take the shuttle to the fell of the band. I can check that all the correct pattern threads have been chosen. If any of them don't appear quite as clear on the surface, you can just pick them up and pull them out a bit beat and there you can see that is the fourth pick. 
I will now show you how to weave this type of band on an inkle loom. On this loom all of the pattern threads are black and the background threads are turquoise. All of the pattern threads, the black pattern threads, are unheddled and therefore are free to move. There are two sheds. When you raise the bottom layer, all of the pattern threads and the back, their background threads come to the surface. And that's the shed. When you lower that layer, all of the pattern threads go to the bottom layer um, for you to pick up to make the pattern. On this loom there is a slight adaptation. If you put a clip it around the pattern threads it means that you can select them so that when the pattern threads are on the bottom layer it is much easier to choose which ones you need to appear on the surface of the band to make the pattern. I'm using the same pattern draft which I've transferred to a larger chart and for this pick I'm, I'm weaving here uh, all of the pattern threads are on the bottom layer and I'm going to need to choose the first the five in the centre and the end one here to appear on the surface of the band. Okay, first of all I lower the threads so all of the pattern threads are on the a bottom layer and then I choose the pattern threads so that I've now separated them out from the background threads. Uh, I have selected the pattern threads in the centre of the shed but of course you can't see the pattern threads very clearly when you're looking down through the top layer. So what it's easier to do is to part the top layer and now you can see your pattern threads and you can choose the ones we, you want. So we want to keep the first, drop the next three, keep the centre five, drop the next three and keep the end one. So I've now selected the ones I want and I can put the shuttle into the shed. But you can see that the pattern threads don't appear very clearly on the surface at the fell of the band. What you need to do is to turn your shuttle on end, take it up to the heddles and there you will find that you can pick up the pattern threads behind the heddles, lift them up, bring your fingers down and that brings them to the surface and now you can beat with the shuttle and you can see the pattern quite clearly. Finish. I will now weave the next pick. Now for this pick all of the pattern threads are on the surface but we want to keep on the surface the coloured squares here so you want to keep the first two, drop the next three, keep the three in the centre, drop the next three and keep those two. And this is how you weave this type of pick. So we raise all the threads and you can see the pattern threads and uh, some of the background threads are on the surface, there is your shed. Now what we have to do is start at one side, we want to keep the first two and remember we must keep all of these turquoise background threads as well but we want to drop the next three pattern threads to the bottom layer, that's one and two and three and then we keep the three pattern threads in the centre and the background threads between them and then we drop the next three which is one and two and three and then keep the last two. So there is your shed with the selected pattern threads on the surface. So put your shuttle in and beat and you can check that you've selected the correct ones, take the shuttle through and adjust your weft.